Hi guys, as you can see we've had quite a bit more snow here. Um, I don't know, another couple inches overnight. I'd say we're close to a foot now. We're expecting a few more inches today. So we're on our way to church and um, I started late so you are not going to see the lake, I guess, <laughs> um, like I usually try to show you. But all the, sh all the fishing shanties are out now, so it's pretty cool, and the snowmobilers and stuff. Although we, we're not seeing as many as we have before. Anyway, I haven't been vlogging this week. I don't know what I was thinking, signing up for Holiday Vlog Fest in December. Seriously, I did. who has time for that at this time of year, you know? But anyway, um, I don't know if I'll try and catch up or just drop out or whatever, but... For my own channel, just for my own vlogging, I'm going to, um, you know, I'll do it when I can. And I'm thinking probably at the first of the year I'm going to uh, try a vlog everyday challenge type thing to see how far I can go. As I am inspired by others who do the same thing. Um, but anyway, so, you know, traffic's still moving along pretty good. The roads have obviously been scraped, so that's good. Our back streets where we lived haven't been scraped, but um, we do have four-wheel drive on our Suburban, but we've never used it. It came originally with an electronic four-wheel drive, which no longer works. Um, so what the previous owner did was he put a piece of angle iron through the floor, cut a hole in the floor, and put a piece of angle iron through the floor and into the transmission and connected it so that you can now um, take that and uh, push it down like a manual four-wheel drive and then there's a strap on the floor so, so that you can connect it so it doesn't pop back up. So that is kind of, you know, I guess one way to do it. <laughs> but we haven't tested it. He, says it. he said it worked when we bought this, but, you know, you never know. So hopefully we'll, we'll never have to test it, but we do have 240 pounds of sandbags over our rear tires and we seem to this seems to drive pretty well in the snow even with the taller uh, you know higher center of gravity so we're on our way to church um, of course Pete and I my daughter and my grandson and we will um, my daughter came up for the weekend again and so I might show some trees with snow on them because I know it's been a few days since you've seen that. <laughs> and it's different snow now, so. Um, but we'll see what the what the trip is like up into Ross Common. They're supposed to get more snow than we are. When we went to bed last night, they said we would get up to 8 inches um, south of a line that crossed right through the middle of the lake, and we are at the south side of the lake, so. Now they're saying that north of that same line is going to get uh, more snow. So we may be driving into worse snow than what we've got here in Houghton Lake. All right, I will be back later. Um, we've got, I don't have anything special planned today. After church, we got to stop at the store for a couple things while we're All out. All right, I will see you guys um, later. I came out of church and it's snowing really really steadily we've probably got a couple inches since I've been in church or maybe an inch or more I'm sure it was more anyway this is the the church is kind of built back into the woods and this is you can see how much it snowed while we were in there anyway so this is the isn't it beautiful I probably won't record on the way home but it's so silent and it's so gorgeous except for my car running here right next to me and my husband yelling. <laughs> He's cleaning off of another woman's car right now. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this beautiful snow. Ah! Oh, hi! <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. So I just wanted to show it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, I'm on our way home from church, and you can see that the road it's still snowing real heavily. And um, the roads are snow covered and, you know, undoubtedly slippery. Um, my husband is driving slowly, otherwise I'd be 
biting my nails up to the elbows and having a bit of a breakdown here, but um, yeah, we're it's still beautiful. You just have to be careful and you just have to hope the people around us are also being careful. Today's church service was gorgeous. Just a really beautiful service. So I uh, left feeling blessed like I always do. I don't know if we'll be able to get a look at the lake on this part of, um, what you call it, this part of the road, but um, all the shanties are out. I, I heard there's like 14 inches of ice, so that's plenty, and these are out, so you can see, you really can't, there's really not a good view from this part of the lake. But anyway, it's still... It's still snowing, but not as hard. Storm's supposed to let up, uh, Pete just said, by about 6, so. Anyway, it's still snowing. Not too bad. The roads aren't as bad in town, obviously, here, so. We're able to go. What's he going? He's up 35 now, so. <laughs> we're doing fine. We stopped at Walmart. Now we're going to go stop and pick up my daughter's boyfriend, and then uh, we'll be going home. As you can see, the snow stopped falling, but it sure is beautiful outside. I've been waiting for my next door neighbor to go in the house before I recorded. And there is our beautiful tree. I just made some homemade hot chocolate. My, there's my Petey drinking some. Delicious. <laughs> and my grandson and my daughter and her friend are playing Uno. What kind of Uno is it, Leland? Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Oh, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Okay. Oh, okay. He just got them for Christmas, but he got to open them early. And they have been playing. And so I've got we've got some pizza in the oven. Yes, it's not low carb, and yes, I'm going to eat it anyway. And yes, you can see a four-year-old's here. <laughs> so, anyway, um, that's my dog, Pharaoh. He's my min pen, but he's a big min pen. And that little guy over there is Curly. He's some kind of tiny little... Hi, Curly! Did I say your name? He's some kind of little terrier mix or something. We got him from the shelter a couple of years ago. He had come in as a straight... Curly! 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 There. Carol says, you're talking to him. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, you're scaring me. Oh, Curly. You're scaring me. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Good boy. Come on. Bring it back. I love you too, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, your turn. Oh. It's right again. I don't Hi guys, here's our tree. My husband's computer. Oh, there's Curly. Hello, Curly. Curly! <laughs> anyway, just wanted to wrap up for tonight. My husband's cleaning up the kitchen, so my pharaoh, my min pin, is out there. Kitchen's a uh, cyclone hit it, but my he's always hoping something will fall. All my birds are eating. In the cage even back in the corner that you can't see. I just fed them, so there's my computer. <laughs> anyway, here I am. You haven't seen me all day because I just wanted to kind of wrap up the day and say it was really pleasant. My daughter and her boyfriend, who I mistakenly called her friend, apparently, since I always refer to him as her boyfriend, she said, why did you call him my friend when you introduced him on your camera? I don't know. I just said friend. Isn't he a friend? So I had to make sure that I corrected that and he's boyfriend. So, Alrighty then. 
They're on their way back downstate tonight to her apartment, and they took um, my grandson with them, so he'll be with them for the next two days. And um, then he'll be back up Tuesday night, so um that's about it we had a really good time with them we had a snowstorm today and it was real heavy snow and a lot of it i'd say we probably got about four or five inches that's just a guess on my part on top of the four or five inches we probably already had so um it was nice of jake to come over and shovel um our driveway for us and he said that he would anytime he's in town and we need it so that was very nice of him um, all right here's the thing he's a ninja I've never. Quit your laughing. <laughs> yeah, stop laughing. No, I I like to tease her about him disappearing and us not being able to see him and stuff and you know ninja jokes. So, but he takes it obviously very seriously. So, and it's you know that's better than being a drug addict. <laughs> so we're we're good. We're good there with that. Anyway, yeah, the, he's a nice kid. Hi, Leland. Hi. So what? What happened to all that hair? You trimmed it. I trimmed it. Did you get a haircut? Yes. Let's see. Turn around so we can see the back, too. Ooh. By the way, that white spot you see in the back is a lack of pigment in his hair. So he always has white hair in that spot. Keep going. Good job. Keep going. What do you think? Does it feel good? <laughs> what happens when we cut your hair? I get itchy. You get itchy. So what did you do? Did you what did you do when you were itchy? I jumped in um, the bathtub and I, I've been hosed down. You've been hosed down, like by a fireman or something? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what? What? Firemen put out fire. They don't hose you down when you're itchy from a haircut. Who hoses you down when you're itchy from a haircut? Mommy or you. And I pick mom. By the way, Jake is Casey's boyfriend. <laughs> hey, and um. Yeah. Um, do I do my new car's pillow? Oh, go get your car's pillow that Aunt Janie made for you and bring it here. I'm sure I'll put every. Right here. Okay, I'm sure everyone would like to see that. Isn't that beautiful? It is. I love it. You love it's, it? It's, see, he was having a, he was having an accident. Oh no! See, he's very unhappy. Oh, I would see, be too. This guy is happy. Yeah. Which guy is happy? This guy. Oh yeah, he definitely. And is he happy. doesn't look happy. No, he doesn't look happy at all. Okay, so um. I get to see. There's that jet plane. Mm-hmm. I see the jet plane. And I see, is that a tank or is that a ship? I can't tell. Well, yeah. Leland. Huh. So do you like your haircut? Yeah. Does it feel very good? Mm-hmm. And as you can see, there's a lot of different kinds of looking colors from that. Yes, there are. See? Yes. I see that. Well, Leland, thank you for letting me interview you for my vlog. You're welcome, Mama. I love you, baby. I love you too, Mama. Okay, bye. Bye. That's it for today. That is it for, uh, this, I don't know what the date is, 22nd? Wow, it's only three days till Christmas. I better start shopping. No, I'm just kidding. Shopping is done. We bought one thing, and that's all we're getting um, for the moment. We won't see Pete's grandkids probably till next month anyway, or his son's. He hasn't seen his one son in quite a few years for whatever reason. But anyway, and then um, my daughter always can just use money, so that's what she got. And then we bought something for my grandson, so we're all good. My mother, uh, we don't exchange really with her. She, her being in the nursing home and um, when she has her lucid days, um, she feels badly that she can't buy us things and go shopping. So I just remind her that we agreed a long time ago that, you know, Christmas is for the kids and the family and the adults don't exchange gifts anymore. We just wish each other a warm Merry Christmas. And she's, oh, that's right, she'll say. So we're good. Um, anyway, 
So it was a good day after all was said and done. Lots of snow. It's beautiful outside, which you obviously can't see because it's dark. But um, it it was beautiful, and it was a good day with um, Casey and Jake and Leland. And so um, I'm happy tonight and feeling good and um, looking forward to a couple hours before I go to bed just to relax. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.